What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, I think we are ready to end the turn. So I believe everyone, well, except for you, you're waiting for uh, Gurkhas from Srinagar. But I think, in general, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's make sure everyone is replenishing correctly. I think everyone is good. You're currently sat here at Crimea waiting to do something. Are you do anything relevant at Moscow? Doesn't look like it. Uh... Ooh, buildings. Is that Chris Traeger? No. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Yeah, so you're in position. You are probably going to push down towards here. Largely though, I think we're okay. Everyone's pushing on. You're probably going to push on towards Esfahan itself. Um, but yeah, let's just hit N10. We have to start knocking down some universities soon. Because we're going to start running out of tech. Let everything tick on an extra turn. And it's gonna take. It's gonna, we're just gonna have to do, turn through a couple of end turns just to uh, get our troops into position. But we're gonna push on. Take Zahedan. Take Esfahan. Take uh, Baghdad. And soon the true war will begin. The Ottomans are gonna do some sneaky raiding. The imams, well, not imams. Ooh, they're gonna flank. That is unfortunate. Uh, no, I am not going to trade any regions with you, Sweden. Hey, there's a Genoan fleet in the East Indies. So you need to go out there, clean up. Clean up the Genoans. Don't allow them to profit from their silly decision to wage war against us. They must suffer the way of pain... Persians are coming. We need to make sure our, our armies are re in reasonable condition to defend the city. So you are an interesting one. I don't know what they consist of in terms of a force. Upgrade the trades gained. So we've got rifle cannons, but once Evora researches percussion cap, there is no more tech. So I'm afraid, New Orleans, you are gonna get destroyed so that Evora can pick up sheet metal cartridges. Agri farmland. Ooh. It has whew, it stuttered for a minute. Okay, let's get building. The plantations maxed out. Armenia, get a new industrial building. Moscow, get a new... Get an engineer school. Keep upgrading all of our religious buildings. There we go. Even, even with the Inuit, we're turning them into a great trading people. Probably decimating the population of uh, moose and so on to fuel the world's insatiable appetite for, for goods and services. Um, okay, so you're going to hop out to the Heathen. I mean, we will fight it. I'm just going to make shift my keep shifting my troops forward. Everyone else just keeps steaming towards Persia. 
So we've got a first Gurkha regiment. You join this force, and then you storm forward. So you are waiting. You're going to get your Gurkha unit plus an infantry regiment. So you're now at full strength with your Gurkha units. So you push on. So great Kandahar to have a church school in it. So we're likely going to have a period where a couple of these armies may have to wait behind. Actually, no, you're pretty interesting itself, yourself anyway. You've got a good amount of units. Yeah, push on. Okay, so we've got some fleet arrives action going on. So you, well, you're going to combine with these fifth rates. Take this position here. Oh, we have a Genoa's down here. Go get him! Bunch of fifths. Don't need to worry about it. So where have they gone? There, we, there they are. Wipe them out. So this weak fleet is going to hold this trade post. So then what we're going to do is take you, send... Are you, are you fully... You're not at full strength? Let's go second, second, second. We don't really have... So these fleets... Well, that's kind of what you're supposed to do, I suppose. Let's get you over to South America. Let's get you... I mean, you might just just keep picking up a bunch of extra ships. You're ready. Recruit, recruit, recruit. Where's my thirds? There we go. So these other fleet arrives with the other fleets that went to South America. More recruitment. I think that's you probably done as far as trade ships are concerned. So you send a trade fleet down to South America. Okay, let's group our fleets together at sea by function. And the ultimate, I do want more, many more battle fleets out of Brest. Are you already recruiting? You're fully recruiting. Okay, let's maybe not worry about it quite yet. First of all, let us take Zahedin from the Persian Empire. We'll teach them to declare war on us. They're the ones, they started it. They're the ones that have to suffer. So if we take the city, continue a push towards the capital, then on into the Caucasus, and then it's death to the Ottomans. I may deploy the army in Crimea, the small army in Crimea to the west, well, western Georgia, to block off those Ottomans from having a clear line of advance in towards the Don. Okay, guns up on the hill. Advance in a smart line. My native contingent gets secure the right flank, but they will have cavalry support to do it. Run my cuirassier up. Square off against the camels. 
Yeah, concentrated artillery fire on their <laughs> units in the centre. But let's instead target different units. Allow everyone to keep using round shot. Camels are going to escape our tension. We're going to smash into the armed populace. format light cavalry get in there get my cavalry into the action retarget my howitzers Shattered. Enemy cavalry is coming in, but they've been obliterated. Get my general to destroy those units that are routing. God, we just roll them up. Pull back, pull back. Cavalry defences. Okay, now flank around the cavalry defences. It's only that unit of artillery. But now they're being fired upon by our musket troops. Yep, yeah, there they go as well. That was very swift and brutal. But there we go. The Heathen is secured. We're not interested in trying to kill all of those people. Repair the Raja's Palace, get everyone replenished, although we didn't take many losses. Destroy this pleasure garden. Can we reveal that it is a Christian school? Your roads are good. Everyone's pushing forward. Um I may move you here. I steal your garrison, Crimea? If it's a concentrated enemy... Well, ultimately, it is weak. It is depleted, so... Yeah, let's, let's, let's attack them just to make sure they don't cause any problems. Also depleted cavalry. Yeah, it should be okay. But the idea is we don't, yeah, you know, we don't want them sneaking around to the rear of our formation and causing problems. We want to annihilate them swiftly and cleanly. Let's go set up our artillery. Go, 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 go. Set up, set up. Get ready to rock and roll. 
<laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I, you, pro you probably won't be able to see it because I've... Uh, uh, I got Discord. Discord on. Uh, <laughs> sorry, a friend of mine is sending me Steam messages. It's making me laugh. Um, I gotta quickly, quickly sort this out. Just a second, everyone. Okay, apologies for that. Right, let's get going. <laughs> so we're gonna play defensively. Any artillery is getting hit. Make sure my everyone's set up. There's the horsemen coming in. I mean, they're all going to get lots. Of them are going to get pushed back fairly easily. I do love the Nizam infantry. I love it so much. Uh-oh. Oh, that's how it's going to be. You can have some quick line back at you. Although, to be honest, probably should just push forward. Engage! Kill them! Kill them all! push up keep my howitzers firing around shot oh no damn actually that went really well so camels aren't really ideal That's right, turn around. Let's push these two units around the right. Push everyone else up to here. I think they just killed a whole bunch of their own guys. Well, a whole bunch. 13. Advance my main line. Leave this regiment holding their own against the camels. There you go. Dirty horsemen have been broken. More, sending in more cavalry. Ah, oh, the quick climb has done a real number on the enemy troops there. Okay, you men run into position. Same with my cavalry. Nope, you men form square again. Kill the Delhi horsemen. Well, the risk is of souls and the Muslim are charging in. You men better turn around and make ready. Oh, there goes the risk is of souls. Stay mobile, stay mobile. Nope, stay mobile. Kill the Muslim. Broken, shattered, form up. Engage the line. Not entirely happy with how the battle is progressing so far. Although these are only Muslim, so. They're not that spooky. 
I want to avoid the Bashi Bazooks and try and support this fight here. Excellent. Charge onward into this Univis Aureli. Carabina are doing okay, but my artillery don't really have targets anymore. How are you not winning? How are you how are you shaken against the Delhi horsemen when you should just be running into them and mowing them down? Attack the Israeli. The Bashi Bazooks are still coming in. So you men form up. Quick line the Janissaries, you men quick line the Nizam. These units push forward. Even this weak unit advancing to the trees. So the Bashi Bazook shouldn't last too long against my infantry either. Getting sound shenanigans. Which one are you? Chase down the Israeli, my infantry go after the Bashi Bazooks. Okay, now my infantry form up on the flank of the enemy. How oh, it says switch to round shot, engage the camel nomads. Chase down the enemy. Push forward. Uh, don't like attacking the camels. That's bad. We're bombarding them though with our own... With our own artillery though. That may cause more problems than it fixes, though. Maintain the offensive. Send you guys into the combat. Okay, send everyone in. Save the camels. Save my cavalry, rather. Charge the nomads. Okay, where's my regiment of horse? We're going to continue because we don't want these guys to come back. Janissaries, try go for those two Israeli. There we go, knock out that infantry unit, especially one that's fairly good. Veterancy. There go the Janissary Musketeers. Good. We'll teach the Ottomans what it means to go to war against Portugal. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we've annihilated them. Oh, we did. Very well. E-man replenish. Get some garrison guards and get some... Yeah, they're going to take a while to catch up, but they will catch up. Excellent. 
So you're going to push up and threaten Ardabil. Because you have to make a choice now. Where do you go? Do you? Well, actually what we can do is bolster some of these units by combining some of our depleted troops. So that's freed up four spaces. Four. Yeah. What are you going to do, eh? What are you going to do? I mean, we're not really worried, I'm not bothered about Europe at all. So I think I'm probably going to end turn and let everything tick on another turn. The unstoppable wave of Christian freedom is heading towards the Middle East. At breathtaking speed. And there's nothing they can do to stop them. They can't do much more than run their agents around. There's a full army. So it's interesting. They sent a full army towards me, but they just lost Ankara to the Austrians. They must believe I am the soft target. Well, they thought wrong, didn't they? Yeah, Persia sending armies, sending troops our way to try and interdict us. You can raid as much as you like. Yeah, actually, fill your boots. Chomp. Which Genoa's going to Genoa. But now they have no navy, so their army on board Corsica is just... not a problem anymore. It could potentially have invaded somewhere behind my lines and caused some... Frustration, but we have naval dominance. Yep, yeah, like I said, raid as much as you like. Fill your boots. You guys need to replenish pretty ricky tech. Let's enemy raid cars. Military tech, percussion cap. Good. Actually, that means up here we need to build craft workshops. So you've gone straight on sheet lead cartridges. When Preserved Foods is done, Salamanca will no longer need to be a university either. Ooh, didn't like that. They really didn't like that. Okay, keep on upgrading. Actually, let's be sure you become a church school. We've upgraded all the stuff we need to upgrade in Sind, unless... Yeah, unless it's roads. Gunnery school. Do, 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 do. Lots of fully upgraded buildings. Punjab, we've got everything, so unless there's roads to build, which there isn't. Engineer school at Gujarat. There are gets upgrades. Ultimately, this is just going stupendously well. Let me collect your one Gurkha, and then you're on the way. You're already good. See, this is where good roads are working against you, Persia. You're allowing us to push into your territory with ease. Yeah, you're in good shape. Where's that? There's our infantry block. 
So let's free up some space. Oh no, I didn't mean to bring all of you. Leave one unit in Kabul. You've got your Gurkhas, so you push on. You now have your Gurkhas, so push on. You will want some Gurkhas. Fleet arrives. I mean, no, that's not no, that's not what I want here. I don't want an escort fleet for that. It's a trade fleet. That was a bit of a goof. Recruitment report. Moscow. Oh yeah, they're all gonna run down to here. Ru yeah, down to you. Just as a bit of a bit of cover, I should probably bump these militiamen into here as well. I mean, if they're going to let us take Ardabil, we may as well take it, right? Especially as next turn we're in spitting distance of Esfahan, we may as well go for it. You caused this, Persia. You caused this. I didn't declare war on you. You declared war on us. Let's get busy. New man and limber. Form the battle line. I wouldn't be surprised if they're right at the back. Get my grenadiers and light infantry on the right flank. And then just try and put one heavy and one light cavalry on either flank. Yeah, get my general involved. Why the hell not? Yeah, they are right at the back. Run up my tribal auxiliary to try and engage the enemy cab first. Don't shoot yet, shoot when you're over the hill. shoot anyway so my native cavalry are going to be in a bad way luckily they are advancing towards us so that will speed things up somewhat let's push some cavalry forward there's native lancers are uh, Set. Let's get my tribal auxiliary out of here. Actually, no, keep them in there just to provide some mass over the enemy. Push up with prejudice. Bombard their other units. One of my infantry units is wavering. It's probably you guys. It is you guys. At least with the with the mortars. Actually, maybe go after the armed populace. Although we've just caused a massive rout in the centre. Push forward to the impassable slopes. Get my light cavalry out of there. I 
mean you guys just push up to here rapidly, I suppose. The initial cavalry fight is still ongoing. Ah, my pikemen. Get you over here, you'll turn the tide. Oh, there we go, they're gonna push up this path up the hill and they're gonna suffer massively for it. We're gonna push through this gap and I wanna send Unsurprisingly, they broke the are skirmish cavalry after all. Let's just plaster this area here with quick line. Household cavalry, go for the armed populace. Colonial light, go around and go for their artillery. Quick climb coming in. Yeah, that's gonna sort them out all right. Kizilbashi, armed populace. And these men are getting shot as they run past my line. It's only the camels that are alive, I think. Household cavalry is slaughtering this armed populace. My um, my uh, native auxiliary cavalry that routed. Okay, hit them with round shot with my howitzers. Ultimately, now my pikes are in the mix. They're really done for. You go. Oh, and there goes the camels, but now an armed populace unit's come back. Uh, end it. They they're on the they're on the edge of routing. So if we don't end it, we'll just get it'll just get drawn out. Other units might come in. Nice. So that's caused a bit of a problem for you. Let's build some more fortifications in the event that we actually have time. I mean, you guys may come after us, but you have to make a call. Because we're coming to get you. Can you leave, Zahedin? Yes, you can. Just knock out these raiders. You may engage that small unit of camels. Doesn't matter what damage they do to us. I, mean, I know the by, by sea is definitely faster, but I'm just not <clears throat> overly bothered about that right now. We got a general's bodyguard, but no general. The city is very upset. They're bankrupt. There's a large clamour for reform. We're going to want to take out. Take Esfahan before they rebel and they eventually kick us out. But I think we hit end turn. Although, just start churning out infantry here just in case things get a bit sticky in the Caucasus. There goes our cavalry detachment. Ideally, in this episode, we will we will complete our destruction of the Ottomans. Eventually, Austria will have to declare war on us, and I really hope Saxony joins us. Hey. I 
Fine, I'm happy to pull back my lines. Oh, the Ottomans are going back. Sweden with this. They want Moscow and the Rhineland. But all of that, no. Declare war on me, Sweden. Do it. I think part of the reason is they're upset that they have no no way of escaping the Mediterranean. Our fleet is too strong. Oh, they're fighting rebels. That's right. Fight the rebels. You can try and convert your people to Islam if you like. Or See, I don't want them to win, but I did want them to be damaged. This force dug in. They're not moving anywhere. So again, I'm not that bothered about pushing in Italy at the moment. My focus is the Middle East. That's the that's my that's the campaign I want to focus on. See? I mean, it says path blocked, but I don't think it is. Let's break one infantry man, infantryman out of the army. Although I can't. Get you out here. Come on, let me grab all of him. There we go. Leave it to you. No, it's not you, it's you. Get in. Get back home. Okay, let's get let's get building. Yeah, the longer they don't push us in the Middle East, the more we dig in as well. Schools for everyone. Ordnance board. Excellent. Soon we're going to be at a point where we don't have to build quite so much in India because everywhere will already be developed. Beautiful. So theoretically, I mean, you're technically one turn away. So let's get you guys to push up towards Baghdad instead. It'll really speed up once we get to once we well, once we get to Persia, we're actually on the road network. So you're not actually able to take the city, but you can advance towards it. Position yourself ready. It looks like they've had to demolish a building to prevent their religion their civil unrest from getting too bad, although it hasn't helped. The fools. Next turn we'll jump on Esfahan. Everywhere else is just pretty darn tickety boo. Okay, you go around here. Just dig in either side of the hills. I'm not that bothered about pushing in Italy. I just want to be ready to not get taken advantage of. Although I only really need... Seven units. Four, five, six, seven. Something like that. Let's then get our uh, fourth rate out. Ultimately, because when war comes, we are going to lose a lot of our trade ships because they're they're going to get jumped on and we will we will eventually yeah, screw it let's get some get some war galleons built yeah, keep building fourth rates you just keep building navies frankly Capitão. 
Something like that. I mean, you... Back up this army, ready to fight and stuff up the Württemberg, Württemberg army, because look at this. That's going to take some hacking through. You're going to sit here, ready to block in the Austrian fleet when it's needed. You're going to sit here and interfere with the passage of these Austrian ships into the Western Mediterranean. Could theoretically block them in if we parked fleet over here as well. Go, go, go. We probably haven't got to worry about war with them in, the, in our immediate future. There you go. There's our garrison guards ready. It's the militia in. Cavalry storming its way towards the Don from the north. Good. That's ours. Traits gained. Pickled in ram. Minus one to morale. So you've actually got a bad jammer on the front line. Which isn't cool. Okay, we know Esfahan's in trouble. Let's scout on towards Baghdad. You're ready to jump on Savoy when it happens. There comes our cavalry. Here comes some ship recruitment. I'm curious to know what you're doing, but I know once if we declare war on each other, they will uh, they'll get booted out of my territory, which will be nice. They can't just order 66 me. I think they're just trying to get an angle on the. Ottomans through our territory, rather than pushing through Ankara, which is a bit weird, but never mind. Yeah, my main principle is if we keep... If we keep the med bottled up, all those, all the Austrian navy is not a problem in the wider world. I think Savoy are probably going to pick up another army. They're just deciding what to do. I think the Persians have garrisoned their capital. The rebels are raiding, or continuing to raid. But now, Esfahan is ready to be captured. I mean, you could have fallen back to the capital to help save them, but you chose not to. You chose to sit back. Preserved foods has been researched. So that is the last. What Evora is currently working on our last technology. So Salamanca, you are no longer required. You've learnt everything there is to know. Stop learning. Keep on building. You both of you guys can be upgraded. Mine complexes are done. So some of the government buildings can't be upgraded to max level because they can only be upgraded to maximum levels in your home territory, effectively. Oh, come on. Come on. Whoosh. There we go. So one company infantry are banned. Oh. God's sake, I clicked. One. Why did you not split up? Swap you out then. No. 
push on. I think so. The rest of, for the in the meantime, Trinigar is going to just recruit these other these remaining units, and then we'll push them up to our front as applicable. So you man, yep, S fans fully garrisoned, but the garrison is puny. In which case, you are going to just push through. I think they all are really. They're all just gonna. We're just gonna go ignore the Persian threat and just focus on positioning our armies ready for the next engagement. Can you leave Ardabil? You can. Get up here. Let's go get him. Improved settlement fortifications. Not improved enough, mon ami. Over here provides the better positioning for our artillery. And we've got rockets as well, which is super fun. So because we got rockets, I'm not going to use quick climb. I'm just going to let my rockets annihilate everything. We're going to shoot holes in all of their walls. It's just going to be great. So let my... Okay, good. Let my rockets fire at work. Make ready! Oh, it just takes them a bit of time. Light fuses! Barrage! Oh, they're going after the center, which is really nice. Just keep pecking at them. That's what the Howitz is after as well. Have you guys gone rogue? No, you are aiming at the wall. Good. More rockets. See, we don't even need to just... We don't even need to have a howitzer shoot quickline. There's, there's so few of them. Just let them hit the centre with... Round shot. That'll do the job. Boom, 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 boom. Rocket of salvo. One more volley. There we go. Take it out. We've taken out one section of wall. But let's just run our line up. Just to highlight how futile it is for to resist. Now the walls. Oh, since the artillery's been effectively destroyed. Many, many men going down. Oh, Jesus. Good job these fellows are protecting this wall. Yes, sir. Don't want us to come from over there. Two gunners. That's one of them. And the other guy's on his horse. Rocket artillery, prepare for bombardment. One more salvo, and that will knock down the last section. So if you were being 
Actually, we should be okay once these guys knock down that section of the wall. Oh, one more shot. That's all you need in the middle again. Storm, storm, storm. Get the rocket artillery to focus on the center. Where's their general? There he is. Hello. There's a breach right here. No, I need to use this one. It's a point of principle. Oh, there you go. They countercharge some musketeers into us. Put artillery, engage this section of the fort. E men position there, E men position there. Change. Boom, square. So now my cavalry's here. Just give them an order just to run through the city. Here comes the. Uh, here comes the elephants. Send an infantry unit to the central square then. Here comes the cavalry. The you men clear out the camel mercenaries. Look at, this, look at Legolas up here. The musketeers have realised actually that's not a great idea doing what they were doing. Sapahi so going down. General's bodyguard's very weak. Curiosier push through. I mean, I might have to use my howitzers to shoot at this thing because my well, artillery appears not to want to do it. Company infantry, or it's the one that went for the centre on their own, unsurprisingly. Push in! Musketeers. Spread out, men. You men go after the musketeers. You men go after that unit of musketeers. You men go after the 27th. Bring my general up. Raw colour infantry guards push through. Kill that last Sipahi. And then kill that their last elephants. You men are squaring off against the first order. There 
there we go. We're starting to knock out their units one at a time. Dominance of the center temporarily. Uh, rocket artillery stop firing. A couple of units have broken. Let's see if we can keep the route going. So you men hold the center. There we go. The garrison is broken. The cowards. Excellent job. So that is Esfahan taken and the Persian faction destroyed. Bye bye. There it goes. So they hate us, which is understandable. Let's get Gaspar Vaz's force replenished. In two universities, which would be a big reason why they're really upset. And actually, that might bring us into positive public order anyway. So let's start building a church school anyway. Got good roads. You do have good roads. Let's repair you. Nice. Let's repair you. How's it going on at Baghdad? Oh, not much of a garrison. How unfortunate. Well, now... Now is the time to strike at the Ottomans. Hit them and bring in their reinforcements. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some more action. Cheers everyone.